There you guys are. Late again. Welcome back. It's still pretty windy out, so I'm going to leave Lomax alone. But we are going to have a crew cab episode tomorrow, as well as Friday. We're going to be back on Lomax, and then Saturday will be the very first real episode of our 73 GMC cab over. So, I hope you guys are ready for a bunch of content. I know I am. You're watching Whiskey Nets. Okay, so everybody that's just been here to watch the Lomax videos, uh, we also have some other projects going on. We have this do-it-yourself crew cab. It's three cabs. Crown Vic suspension I stretched out, put on airbags. It's got a 306 with a four speed. Uh, it's gonna be suicide door. I originally started by taking one of these doors and I cut the front off of it. And I was going to put this piece on so that everything lined up here. And I was just going to put one solid piece of glass. And that proved to be a little bit more than I had anticipated. So we kind of put that off to the side and then we cut a door to get apart. And I don't really know if that's the way I want to go either just yet. So I may go back to my original plan. The hardest part of this is getting my hinges cut in to the frame back here so that it will you know, open and close properly. But uh, I don't know, I might just go back to my original plan. I got extra doors. I got next to one of these that I cut off another door. I have brutally tortured a bunch of doors already. So anyways, let's see what we can do, shall we? Welcome back. Oh, by the way, there's merch in uh, whiskeydents.myshopify.com. That's how you also get entered to win Lomax. You gotta purchase a sticker, it's a giveaway sticker. I've sold like 63 or 64, um, total of 500, pretty good odds. Somebody's gonna win that. If I ever finish this, somebody's gonna win that. And our cab over, if I ever get that done, somebody's gonna win that too, so. Lots of stuff coming up. Three days straight, nonstop content. So I hope you guys really enjoy it. Let's get after it. All right, so here's the plan. I'm going to cut this off here. Going back with the original plan, see if I can't get this to work. I'm gonna cut this off here. I'm gonna round this edge just a little bit. Hopefully I can follow that for the piece that I'm gonna weld on that is laying right there. And I'm also gonna have to make some holes for my hinges inside these pockets right here. So that's my plan. Hopefully I can get this to work this time because I think it's gonna be really difficult to weld that door with the other one and keep everything straight and whatever else. And this way my hinges will be secured the way they were factory. I'm also gonna have to add this piece in that is uh, the bottom section of that. So let's see what we can't do here. Might as well get solid, eh? All right, I got those cut in. I still need to take a bunch of this out. All I need to do is find my Sawzall. Yeah, I didn't get the shop as clean as I would have liked, but uh, I'll be right back. Can lop that off and hopefully stick that in there and shut the door. The struggle is real. All right, just a little progress report. We are dangerously close. I need to take about another half an inch out of this uh, this um, reinforcement that holds the top hinge. 
And then I think we just might have it, but uh, the old camera's about to die, and it's like 10.30 at night, so I think we're going to call her quits, but uh, I will be out here bright and early tomorrow morning. We're going to get this door hung. Can't wait. Feels good working on the old crew cab again. So, see you tomorrow. Well, good morning. So today, um, we're gonna pull these airbags off quick. I need to get the correct bolts because the kits didn't come with it. And we also need to put some pipe dope on there and whatever else to seal them up so that uh, when we do put some air to it, they're not just leaking down right away. So we're gonna give ourselves something to do a little bit later. And we're gonna finish that door next, but uh, that'll be when we get back. Also, believe in yourself. A year ago or nine months ago, 10 months ago, I decided that this is what I wanted to do. I believed in myself and I'm well on my way to being there. And I feel like everything in life is like that. So believe in yourself and if other people start believing in you too, well, that's just a bonus. So anyways, kick today's butt. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so I put a little bit of this uh, pipe dope they call it compound, thread compound. You really don't need to put very much on there. It goes a long way, so. And they didn't have the, the bolts that I needed, but they, well, they had them in grade eight, so. A dollar and five cents a piece, but uh, we don't have to worry about the airbags falling out. So I'm gonna throw this first one in here, get it secured, I'm gonna pop that other one out, and then, uh, yeah, we'll move to the front. Might as well show you what I'm doing up here real quick. Gonna pull them all out. That bottom bracket, it's kind of hard to see, but the kit, it was way too big. So I'm gonna trim it up so it doesn't look like it uh, should have been on another vehicle. And we'll get all the airbags good to go. And then I'm gonna set the box back on the truck and I'll set the compressor in there and the tank and we'll get everything all plumbed. So should be real nice. If you guys are doing this, get the good fittings, stuff that swivels, you know, like, it's, you know, I can't remember if it's snap lock or what that one's called, but uh, it's so nice being able to move this stuff around and whatever else and just snap your hose in there, airline, so. Anyways, I'm gonna screw around with this for a little bit and then uh, we'll probably get back on the door. So, it's close, real close. All right, I'll just show you. This is what I do. Put a little bit on, all the way around. You don't have to go all the way up the threads. Just like that, if you can see it. And this is what's nice about these fittings is that you can uh, swivel that 90. Pretty much just uh, on in as tight as you can. And yes, I'm using a crescent wrench. It should not be, but I am. Get it fairly tight and then you'll see it uh, kind of pull up around the edge. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. I'm not wiping it off, so that's it. I got the one side done. I'm gonna throw this one in that side and then we will move to the front. So this is the actual kit that I bought, the Air Max XXX 400. I probably should have got two pumps, but uh, I don't really care how fast it goes up or down as long as it goes up or down. I also purchased all of the fittings, all of the airlines, the valves for the inside of the cab. I don't know where any of it is right now because it's been so long since I worked on it. But I guess I should probably clean my garage a little bit more. I was going to do some this afternoon, but I think the time has presented itself. So uh, we're going to snoop around, see if we can find some stuff. If I find it, I'll stop cleaning. <laughs> Makes sense, right? So, anyways, let's do it. All right, pull the wheel off. We should be able to get a little bit better look at it. 
See how this bottom plate is just gigantic. We're gonna clean that up a little bit. I don't really need to do anything to the top. I am gonna take the airbag out and I gotta put some dope on that, uh, that right there to seal it up. And we'll put it all back together. So I'm gonna pull it out of there quick. All right, so I got my piece nice and cleaned up. Make sure you grind all your uh, sharp edges off. You never know when you might be uh, in there trying to loosen something or whatever and get yourself. So I'm going to hang this up, prime it real quick, and then I'm probably going to paint it black because, uh, yeah, why not? Maybe look a little bit better. So probably uh, focus on the other side while this is drying. Ah, windy. It's starting to snow. Man. I'm starting to like... Uh, what we got going around around here? I'm thinking by the end of summer we should be giving this one away too. So, oh, Christian and his father stopped over too. We, uh, I can see the floor, the whole floor. For anybody that hasn't seen this pickup, uh, it's on jack stands right now, but uh, when you let the air out, it sits just a few inches off the ground. So I'm gonna get back to, uh, I just set this door in there just to see what it looked like. Still gonna finish modifying that one. What else? If we got time tonight, I'm going to um, get all that plumbed in and whatever else, maybe we'll put some power to it. See what it does. Since my garage is clean now and I actually found all of the fittings and whatnot that I needed. Woohoo! So, yeah, good times here in the garage. What do you guys think of this project? And who's excited for that cab over? Man, I can't wait. That might be, uh, uh, well, it's gonna be top three. Just kidding. It'll be the third project. So we're giving all of them away. We'll, uh, I think the next one we may do like every $5 you spend is an entry or something. And then set a design, like a, say like two months or whatever when the time's up. We just tally up uh, who's purchased and who hasn't and then uh, give entries and. Give that one away too, but we'll see. We're a ways out for that. So if you guys have any suggestions on how you would like to do that, by all means. If you haven't already, go to uh, whiskeydance.myshopify and get uh, a sticker to win that. All right, back to work, enough talk. All right, so this is the kit that I bought. It's the Air Max. Air Max 400 pounds. Um, for one, you need a tap because I don't know if these bungs that they use that they welded on are in backwards or what's going on here, but uh, these brass fittings absolutely will not fit. One fit great, the rest of them just will not screw, screw in. I took the one that fit and I tried it in different spots and it just won't go. So, so far I'm not happy with this at all, but um, I'm gonna go get a tap or whatever tomorrow and uh, we'll try it again. But since we're here, I'm just gonna kind of show you. So what you'll have is your compressor will go into the tank, into one of the bungs, okay? You got your, uh, your air filter on your compressor that you need to screw on. And then like for mine, I'm gonna put two straight fittings on. And then each one of these will run to its own separate valves. One for the front, one for the rear. So it'll go from your tank to your valve, from your valve to your splitter in the back that goes to your tanks and then same as the front. 
and then uh, you have to make sure you got these right but uh, typically up is up and down is down or however you want to put it you can put it down is up and up is down but the air will come out of this valve when you're letting it bleed off so um, you might hear a hissing noise inside your vehicle or whatever it's not that big of a deal it ain't gonna take long either because these are pretty heavy and it's not like it's a, you know it's only like 100 psi or whatever whatever it takes to get your vehicle where it needs to be so once you let that air out it's gonna bleed off really quick um, if you want it to go up fast and down fast go with the 3 8 lines bigger tank or two tanks and then two compressors and uh, yeah that'll make you go up to and down a whole lot faster so anyways that's about all I got for this um, I think we're gonna monkey around with that door for just a little bit longer um, it's already starting to get late I literally spent the whole day cleaning getting stuff organized I have two complete toolboxes put back together so and then I, you know put the box back on threw the front clip on you know whatever else so just so we can see what it looked like you know give us a little uh, little motivation so anyways that's what we got so far I'll get a tap and then um, Maybe tomorrow sometime I can finish doing this because I'd like to take the truck off the jack stands and hit the button and watch this thing actually go up, you know, the way it's supposed to. So, anyways, enough talk. Man, this guy don't shut up. All right. So, I lost the other piece that I had cut off the other door. So, what I'll need to do... I'm gonna have to cut this top section off like I did that other one and then I'll probably take some of this down here as well and once I get that lopped off it'll be welded on here I need to trim about another half an inch off of this so that this fits in there nice Tomorrow the weather is supposed to be absolutely terrible again. So I got a feeling we're gonna have two crew cab videos. But we'll see. If it's nice out, I'll be out there working on uh, Lomax. But uh, as of right now, I think we'll be in here. I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna need to edit tonight so that you guys can watch tonight's video. But um, Tomorrow, I think we're gonna hit these doors really hard. I wanna get this one completely done. And if I got all day, being that I'll have this one done, the other side will go that much faster because I'll know exactly what I need to do. So, um, I got a few other pieces from the old cab that uh, the hinges bolt to, and I will have to bolt that on the inside and then I'll have to secure that to the frame. But, uh, or excuse me, to the back of the cab, or, you know, reinforce it in here so nothing's moving around. I want to keep it as close to, like, the factory setup as possible so that I can still adjust my door up, down, in, out, so that uh, everything shuts nicely. So, but, uh, yeah, I think, I think that's about all I'm going to do tonight, so. Might be a short video, but uh, better nothing. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, more than likely, we'll be having another one of the crew cab tomorrow. So, just can't get enough, huh? Anyways, don't forget to check out all my friends. Classic Car Revivals, High Octane, Garage with a K, Hodgepodge Dodge Garage, Tanner Rebuilds, 1776 Garage, and one of my new favorites, OK Speed Shop. He's working on some uh, uh, square bodies. It's uh, going really well for him. Anyways, check, check all those guys out. I'd really appreciate it. Also, uh, Classic Car Revival is giving away his 74, 6500 uh, Chevy pickup. It's gigantic. 
His tickets or stickers are for sale for twenty dollars a piece, and uh, that's an awesome build. And don't forget to go to Whiskey Dents, my Shopify, and get your sticker so that you can win Lomax. Hopefully, get that one done soon so that we can get uh, the cab over done, and then we'll uh, focus on this one again and uh, see if we can't give them all away. So, anyways, until next time. Y'all come back now, yeah? Bye. You guys are still here? Let me know where you're from. Where you're tuning in at. What kind of projects you got going on? Um, a guy named Nathan sent me a bunch of pictures and uh, information about an excursion that he's working on. So I will share those at the end of this video. Very cool build. He put uh, a diesel in it. Six-speed manual. It's uh, it's something to behold. So that's about all I got for today. Hopefully the weather's nice that so we can uh, get busy on uh, low max out there. But uh, yeah, that's about all I got. Don't forget to get your merchandise. It's really important. We're uh, making some serious progress on all these projects. So this really kind of bothers me about these, uh, these bungs or whatever. Uh, what do you do? I think uh, with a tap, it should be just fine. Um, hopefully I don't have to go up another side or uh, yeah, I don't know. I do know that I need to get uh, two plugs because uh, I'm not going to be utilizing all these. If a guy wanted to, he could put valves on it so it would control each corner. But I'm not trying to get that fancy. Front and back, it's more than enough as long as it goes up and down. So, All right. See you guys tomorrow.